the promo with Sami Zayn and Cesaro and Shinsuke, where Cesaro mumbles a couple words and Shinsuke doesn't say anything. The whoever the girl interviewer is sucks and is generic and bland and stagey. But Sami Zayn cuts a great fucking promo. Yeah, he does. This fucking moron. Every everybody cussed me and thought I was crazy because I did not see. The greatness of El Generico, when I said that is the worst gimmick I've ever fucking seen, that's the stupidest thing I've ever, this guy refused to take off that mask with this expressive face, and this guy that can fucking promo for fucking however long, and sound like a real dick doing it, didn't want to fucking speak, was a mute and everybody's all cornet just can't what the fuck i said he he can work his ass off as a baby face he's sold tremendously stronger than he looks for his fucking frame because he doesn't exactly have a superman physique but it doesn't fit the personality he doesn't need it i never had a problem with his work he was the whiny ass he, he was the second most whiny ass french canadian behind steen but you could deal with him and if and he just the fucking gimmick was right can we can i get an apology from all the fucking fans from eight years ago or nine years ago the ring of honor fans said well he just doesn't see how great el generico is i can't understand yes because I, I saw this guy mike could fucking get out can i get an apology anybody what the fuck <clears throat> i would have pushed this guy to the fucking moon Uh, anyway, uh, let's skip over Ron Gronkowski and Mojo fucking Nixon acting like a goddamn pair of idiots some more and go to Sami Zayn against Daniel Bryan. I like the shit out of this. So, and the ring of honor fans have waited eight years for me to say all this good shit about El Generico. They knew they couldn't fucking keep up with the pace that the girls had just set and fucking beat the fuck out of each other, et cetera, et cetera. And it's also Zane's personality. I have come to absorb from the footage and et cetera, that he tries to weasel out of fights and never gets his and, you know, blah, blah, blah. He's got his back up. And now Daniel Bryan's got one guy to even up, you know, his fucking corner. So we've got some fucking moving parts. <clears throat> and the way they did the heel stalling, was great with Sammy bailing out and not wanting to get his ass kicked. The corner men added to the atmosphere. So they were smart to slow it down after the girls, but also to establish what the fuck was going to go on. Because then later on, Zane's going to get shit kicked out of himself. Um, I, the only thought, the thing I thought was awkward was when Drew Gulak finally said, fuck it and took Cesaro and Shinsuke out over the barricade. You never saw him again for five fucking minutes. What did he put him in a temporary medically induced coma or what? They, they disappeared for a while. And I, that took me out of it because I would have liked to have seen them still be involved in the match at ringside, but suitably chastened about interfering right then. There were some anyway. weird edits during this match. I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good match. I think Daniel Bryan from the match he had with Cesaro when they first went to the empty arenas to this has figured out he kind of gets how to work an empty arena match. Yeah, so that it's as good as it can be, really, with those circumstances. But there were a few, at least one I remember where they were on the floor, where the edits, you could tell they, you know, this show was produced to, yeah. know, to high heavens. But there was an edit where it was just, something was amiss. Well, I found a couple of those in a few other places, too. Um, which, well, we'll get to it. I can see in some cases, and then in other cases, you know, it's fucking ridiculous. But, um... But here, the story of this match, Daniel Bryan kicks the shit out of the, th this was a schoolyard fight where the fucking guy that's been bullied finally fucking exposes the bully for being a goddamn pussy and the bully's begging him and Daniel Bryan worked it great. He almost killed himself on that dive to the fucking outside and uh, pretty much rolled over the top of Sami Zayn and almost went headfirst into the barricade. And, you know, for a guy that had injuries, I wish you wouldn't do that shit, but 
the slaps and the kicks, it sounds good in that environment. And that's his style anyway, but he makes it work and he knows where to fucking land. And Sami Zayn did a great job. I thought he sold like a baby face tremendously in Ring of Honor. Uh, but here he showed that he can do it as a heel too. So once again, I will accept all those apologies and gift cards from all you Ring of Honor fucking fans from eight years ago who thought I was crazy. Um... I thought JBL did a good job in this one because he's so natural when he was fucking just, uh, you know, laughing at Sami Zayn getting the shit kicked out of him. And that that's kind of a, you caught a glimpse of the natural tone and and uh, demeanor of, of JBL there. Um, but anyway, it was good for what it was. And then it before it went on too very fucking long and overstayed its welcome, suddenly Cesaro and Shinsuke come back to life and attack Drew Gulak and Daniel Bryan takes them out to save his friend and Sami Zayn hits the big kick. Boom. Perfect finish. The fucking, the fucking pussy ends up with one of the few offensive moves he fucking scores practically is to goddamn win after the baby face is distracted. I had no problem with this either. I thought they did a great job. Yeah. Good match. Well, thank you for that in-depth fucking I don't know what else there's to add to that. You didn't have to rip that one up. God that was the one you liked. You made me mad at it. <laughs>